It's almost here. You may be planning for it right now. Maybe starting the day off with a picnic, baseball game, or the ever popular trip to the beach while eating hot dogs and hamburgers all day, waiting for that eventual grab finale, the fireworks. It's the 4th of July holiday, Independence Day. But why do we celebrate the 4th of July? You may be thinking, well, that's easy. We celebrate the 4th of July because that is the day we received our independence from England. While this may be partially true, there is actually more to the story as to why we celebrate the 4th of July. Back in the 18th century, the United States were actually known as colonies, 13 to be exact. The colonies were an extension of England. People traveled from England aboard ships to settle in America, but eventually differences in life, ideas, and interests began to develop which caused a split between Britain and America. When the colonies were first settled, there wasn't much interference from Britain. That is, until 1763. Britain determined that the colonies would be required to return revenue to their native land and needed to pay for the colonies' defense, which was being provided by Britain. But the colonies did not consent to these new regulations. They argued that since Britain was not represented in their Congress, the colonies shouldn't have to pay any kind of taxes. The colonies formed the first Continental Congress to persuade the British government to recognize their rights. When this didn't work, a war was declared, which is now known as the American Revolution. Many people argued that any kind of taxation without representation was considered tyranny. In mid-June 1776, a five-man committee, including Thomas Jefferson, John Adams and Benjamin Franklin was tasked with drafting a formal statement of the colony's intentions. This document presented a long list of grievances against King George III, including such items as taxation without representation and maintaining a standing army in peacetime. That document would become known as the Declaration of Independence. The Declaration of Independence would be the first time in history that a nation had been founded on the principle that all people are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, and that these rights would be guaranteed. On July 1st, 1776, of the 13 colonies, nine voted in favor of the Declaration. Eventually, on July 2nd, the Resolution of Independence had been adopted with 12 affirmative votes and one abstention. The warning behind the Declaration of Independence was approved, and Congress formally adopted the Declaration of Independence in its entirely on July 4th, 1776. The 4th of July is known as Independence Day because that is the day that the Second Continental Congress adopted the full and formal Declaration of Independence. Following its adoption, the Declaration was first read to the public in Philadelphia on July 8th. As the Declaration was read in more and more cities, Patriots erupted in cheers and celebrations. However, while the War of Independence dragged on, July 4th celebrations were modest at best. When the war ended in 1783, July 4th became a holiday in some places. Speeches, military events, parades, and fireworks marked the day. In 1941, Congress declared July 4th a federal holiday. To this day, the 4th of July is the most patriotic holiday celebrated in the United States of America. <laughs>